Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and in this video, I'm going to continue looking at PWM signals uh, on the Arduino. So last time we looked at using a PWM to drive a servo, and that used the built-in servo library from Arduino. But this time, uh, I want to look at using a function called analog write to generate a faster PWM signal. Okay, so analog write is a function that's built in. You don't need to include any libraries. And what it does is it will drive a PWM signal to pin, digital pins on the Arduino Uno that have a little tilde in front of it. So if you look at like the board here, you'll notice that some of these digital pins have tildes and you'll notice it's like pins three, five, six, nine, 10, 11, I'll have that. You can do an analog write function to those pins. And the way that the function works is you basically give it the pin you're gonna write to, and then you give it a value that sets the duty cycle of the PWM, okay? So the difference between this and the servo uh, library was the servo library had a period of 20 milliseconds. On this one, uh, it's faster. So for example, pins three, nine, 10, and 11 have a frequency of 100 or 490 hertz and so if you flip that over you know that's like one divided by 490 that's like uh, two milliseconds and then you have one that's twice as fast which is a period of one milliseconds and so 980 hertz is on five and six so basically you have one two three four five six pins that have a tilde in front of it on the digital output and four of them can run with a period of uh two milliseconds or 490 hertz and excuse me, four of them can run at that. And then five pins, five and six or two pins can run at a faster rate. All right. So the, the use of analog in the function name is a little misnomer. So the, the signal that comes out is a digital signal. It goes from zero up to five volts. Okay. So it's a zero or a one. It's not an analog signal, but and it, and it goes to digital pins only, but the application of it usually is analog and that's where it gets its name. So usually you use this to dim LEDs or you use it to turn on and off a DC motor controller to basically dip, get different speeds, okay? So it it's used to generate analog-ish signals. <laughs> so let's take a look at this, okay? So let's, uh, Oh, and then uh, the value, you give it a number between 0 and 255, and that sets a duty cycle. So 0 would be 0 duty cycle, so low all the time. 255 would be high all the time. And then anywhere in between would increase the duty cycle uh, accordingly. And so right in the middle would be, you know, 127 probably. Yeah, about 127 would be a 50%. And, th and then the way that this works is it's not part of any library. You just call it, and it'll run until you call it again. Okay. All right. So let's code this up and take a look at how it works. Okay. So here we go. I got a new sketch going here. And what I'll do is I'm going to come up here and in my setup, I want to do my serial dot begin because I'm going to monitor this with a serial monitor like I always do. And then I'll do serial print and I'm going to do a testing analog write function for PWMs. BWMs, and then I am going to do this. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an analog write, uh, and let's do analog write. That's all you do. And now you give it the pin, and let's drive it to pin nine this time, and let's give it a value of something right in between, so about a 50% duty cycle. So let me do like 127. And that's it. That's all you do. So in this situation, this is going to run one time and it should generate a PWM. So let me go ahead and save this sucker up and we'll go to our desktop like we've been doing and we'll do uh, this, we'll call it 04 PWMs uh, LEDs because we're this is used for dimming LEDs. All right. So let's save that sucker up. And let's download it and then we'll go and measure it and make sure everything's cool. And then we'll see if we can attach an LED to it and see if we can actually see it dim. Okay, so it's compiling, it's working. All right, done compiling, it's uploading, done uploading. Okay, so let's start up our serial monitor. So serial monitor, and we should see a message here. And just to make sure to verify it's, I'm gonna reset it, make sure it runs again. Okay, it's good to go, good to go. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna use my analog discovery oscilloscope tool and let's measure pin nine on here. So let me grab the ground and go to ground. Always dangerous to do that live. And then let's do 
uh, channel one plus, and we'll go ahead and grab pin nine with a tilde, and let's see what kind of stuff we see on there, okay? So I pull up uh, analog discovery waveforms, okay? So I'll put that right there, and I'll bring up an oscilloscope, hit run, and let's see if there's anything on there. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. All right, so let me turn, turn off channel two, let me change the range of this to be two volts per division. Oh boy. Oh boy. I see something. I see something. <laughs> okay. So there it is. There, there's something. So now I got to change my trigger to be right in the middle. <clears throat> and lo and behold, we got ourselves a good looking square wave. So let's do a uh, quick measure on the pulse. And if I look at this, uh, a little hard to see, but it's one millisecond pulse. And then the period is two milliseconds. So that's 400 and you know, 80 hertz <laughs> 490 hertz okay so it's working all right so now that's not that's cool that's really cool uh but let's go ahead and change it a couple times so let me do let me get in a loop here and we'll do this we'll go uh serial let me put this over here it's always exciting to see the waveform running while you're typing so let's do serial.print and then we'll go a little dimmer and what I mean by that is it's going to be a smaller duty cycle and that should dim the LED uh, less to be less brighter or, or dim. <laughs> and then we'll go analog, uh, right, pin nine again, and we'll do, I don't know, let's do like I don't know, 25, okay? And then we'll do a delay and we'll wait, I don't know, half a second. And then let's do it again and put it, let's do it like this. Let's do... Uh, let's do mid dim and we'll put it back to like the 127 and then uh let's do brighter so then let's copy paste that and we'll say and we'll say a little brighter and we'll let's put this way up so we did 25 let's do like two Two, 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 or something like that. So that'll be a bigger duty cycle. And then let's put it right in the middle again. So this is this should go like dim, middle, bright, dim, or dim, middle, bright, middle, dim, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> so then we'll go dim, mid, dim, and delay again and save that sucker. So let's go ahead and hit that. And you basically should see this duty cycle kind of like get fatter and then skinnier and then fatter and then skinnier and then fatter and then skinnier. And then once we verify that, so... Oh boy, look, look at this. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> look at that. So very small, middle, big, little. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so it's going back and forth. Okay, so why'd we do that? All right, so we know that it's working. This is sweet. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna detach my oscilloscope. So we're done with that. And then what I'm gonna do at this point is, I'll go ahead and close off analog waveforms and what I want to do is I'm going to bring over the shield, okay, the breadboard shield, and I'm going to wire in a diode, or excuse me, an LED circuit. So since I'm going to be plugging in, I want to make sure to disconnect that power. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and plug this in. Always be careful. You got to line the pins on this side over there. Uh, so doo -doo, wiggle, wiggle, kind of boom, boom, boom. And then you kind of get it and you just clamp it. And now you got yourself an expansion shield. Now why that's important is because now I can access pin nine and I can access ground. So here's what I'm going to do. Check this out. I'm going to do a resistor that comes off of pin nine. So I'll go into pin nine right there and I'll go into just any arbitrary breadboard uh, slot. And then I have my diode and I've got anode to cathode. And then what I can do is I can go from there to a ground. And so I'm going to have to expand it a little bit. So let me go from there to a ground, which is right, right. Make sure you get a ground there. Goodness gracious. Where is it? Oh, geez, they only labeled it once. Okay, so it's, I'm looking at the Arduino thing right now. So I'm like, okay, it's VN is that pin, then it's ground and ground. So I got the second in and that should be in there. So this should basically light up when I plug this in. So safety goggles. <laughs> <laughs> the program is running right now. Oh, baby. Can you see that? 
Okay, let me turn off the light here. Let me see that. So can you see dim, middle, bright, middle, dim, bright? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So that's how you dim an LED. That's sweet. So another application of a PWM signal. Uh, and, and you also got to see how to use this little shield on there. And this is sweet. This is how LEDs are dimmed. Okay. And that's using the analog right value. And we can also use this to control DC motors. So you did it. Nice work. And we will see you.